Welcome to Unit 6. Congratulations on making it this far in the course. In the previous unit, you learned how to persist data using the Room Persistence Library. In this pathway, we'll expand on what you've learned in the course by teaching you how to use the Work Manager Library from Android Jetpack. With Work Manager, you can schedule long-running and better intensive tasks which need to run in the background. These tasks include retrieving app data, uploading and downloading images, basically anything that runs longer than the user is remaining on a single screen. Most Android apps need to perform background tasks to deliver an optimized experience for the user. For example, an image processing app applies filters to the images, such as blur, grayscale, color effects, and so on. Or a stock tracking app needs to retrieve the stock details from the server periodically. While tasks like these may be essential to an app, they can negatively impact the better life and increase the data usage costs. In this pathway, you'll learn how to handle these resource-intensive tasks. You'll also learn how to schedule a task to run when the constraints are met, such as when the device is charging, connected to Wi-Fi, or if the device has enough storage. We'll show you how to use Work Manager by building an app called Blurematic. As the name suggests, this app applies blur filter on an image. Android provides different APIs for background processing. These APIs, if not used properly, may result in several problems, such as tasks being executed at a less than optimal time, unnecessarily draining battery, or even the task not being executed at all. This is where Work Manager comes to the rescue. Work Manager is part of Android Jetpack, and it's backwards compatible all the way back to API level 14. With Work Manager, you can schedule work that's guaranteed to be executed. For example, you can use Work Manager to schedule a task to fetch data from the server so that the next time user opens the app, the app can display newly loaded content without any delay. Work Manager also takes care of the logic to start your task under a variety of situations, even if the app is closed or the device restarts. The main goal of Work Manager is to make background tasks easy for you. Next to that, Work Manager can take constraints like network availability or battery state into account. Work Manager only runs the queued tasks when the conditions are met. Work Manager is also capable of retry executing the task or reschedule your work. Now that you know more about Work Manager, I'll see you back in the pathway to introduce you to the actual code. See you soon.